Gwee a ditch everyone. Welcome back to our farm here again today. So today is a day of the year we always look forward to. Today is the 4th of April and today is the first day the snails have started to wake up from hibernation. They're probably a month or so now where they're kind of being very quiet and hibernating. So the first day today now there's actually a lot of them back out awake. So we're going to go out now and feed them first because I'm sure they're hungry after the last month or so. So we have a meal here now. So we'll bring this out and we'll feed them up. So come with us. So today now here in Ireland, it's a damp overcloud type of day. So it's a, a yucky enough damp day. So with that, it wakes up all the snails and I'll show you now here. And you can see them all now starting to wake up all the way along. If this was yesterday or the day before, there wouldn't be one snail to be seen here, but they're all starting to wake up now. So I'll just give them a bit of meal Give them something to eat, fill up their bellies, and with that then they'll be happy again. And if we get a bit of rain, they'll even be more happy. So, let's get feeding. Now, so that's that side, all done and fed. We'll come back later on this evening now and I'll show you what it's like when they're all up out eating. So we'll do this side now here and we'll get this side fed. And then that'll be fed for now and done.
and that's how easy it is to feed snails. That's it. Just run through with your shovel, put meal on the boards, and done. We normally feed them the evening time, around dusk. I know we're feeding them now in the morning, but that's just because they're just starting to wake up now out of hibernation. So normally it is an evening job when we do the feeding. So all the other jobs now that we have to do before the start of breeding season, which isn't too far away, it's only two months away now for us here. So we still have to go now and finish off these boards here. So we'll take these in and we'll wash them, power wash them, clean them and get them back down. Once they're done then, it should be done ready for breeding season. So then we get to section this off, put in our mammies and we're ready to rock with breeding season. So that's a job now we still have to get finished now this year is just to get them boards finally done. Now once they're done, they're done. And we'll be into a new season then again after that. So next jobs we have to do are in the Pony Tunnel. So come on, we show you. So the next job we have to do is in here. So we just have to clear off one side. As you can see now, this side here is planted and already done and already coming up. So that's lovely. This side here, we have to rip all this out, clear it all off, turn the soil over and replant it. We tried to do this last year and it turned out to be a complete and utter nightmare trying to get it done. It never ever grew right. So this year now, clear all this off, get this replanted to the way that we really want it to be, which didn't work out last year. So change of plan this year, but we're going with it again and we're going to get it right hopefully this year. So that's the job that has to be done. This side now is already coming up with rape. So that side is going to be all okay. It's this side here that we have to get wired into and get this sorted. So these are just the little jobs now that you're going to be seeing in probably further on videos coming up of jobs that we have to get done here in the farm just to be ready and fully able to go come June for breeding season. So what we need to do now here with this pin is all the snails that are still left, the very few that are this time of the season, any snails that are still left in here now, we'll take all these snails out and just move them to this pin over here for now. And that way then this will be clear of snails. And then we can clear this up, put the timbers up and get this replanted, get it watered, get it sown, get it coming back up, timbers down, and then we can start putting snails back onto it. So that's just what the plan is now. First job, get the snails and move them over to this one. Bit of a difference now already, a bit of a gap. So we clear all this off now, get all the snails out and that leaves us grounding down below to start digging up, working on getting the weeds out, clear it all off, get it all up. Hopefully, fingers crossed this year to the way that we wanted it last year. So stick with us and we'll keep going. So we were in here now yesterday evening and this morning and we were just clearing off all the boards and getting the timbers up now so we have a nice bit done but we'll just continue on now and we'll finish off we'll get these boards over here now done and cleared we've all these ones now already done and up and once we do that then we can go in here and turn this soil over as you can see now we've weeds and everything coming up and even we go up here we even have last year's old rape and stuff still growing so we're going to pull all this out now turn over the soil and then we'll replant this again for the new year coming up so we're getting there I'll show you again when we're finished this and it's all up and we get to clear it out so stick with us 
and it's actually a cold day outside today. There's a fair coldness in the breeze, but because we're inside in the Pony Tunnel, it's actually just nice and warm. So we're not complaining today. So we have all this now fully done. So we've it all cleared off. All the old stuff thrown out, all the soil turned over, and all this now is just ready for planting. And we hope that we can get this planted today, and that'll be another job done. So we've a bit of meal put up on top of all these high boards now that are up. That way any snails that are left, it'll draw them up. And you see them coming up now here already for food. And it'll bring them up. And by bringing them up, it's easy to take them off them boards in and just move them over to this side here. So plant it, another job done. And for anyone that wants to keep up to date on everything that we're doing here on our farm pretty much all year round, hit that subscribe button down below. And that way any new videos that we put up, you'll be the first ones to get to see them. So thanks a million for watching and thanks for keep coming back. And as you can see, once them pellets get a little bit wet and damp, they will eat them all up because once they get wet, they'll soften and they will just eat all these pellets up. So we have our seeds now here. So we're just going to start putting these out now and get this job done. So that's it now, seed it. So we'll just give it a drop of water now. And after that, just give it time and let it germinate and let it start to come up. So hopefully this year we get it the way we want it. So done.
Now, so with that bit of dampness now with the water, that should be enough now for them seeds just to start to break through. And hopefully in seven to 10 days, we should start seeing green stuff start to appear here. Once that does, then we can finally get put the boards down and start getting ready. So one job done. Most of the rest of the jobs now are back out the field. So we'll get all the outdoor stuff now done before the start of breeding season now as well. So we'll wrap up this video now here for today. We'll be back again with another video when we start all the work outside. So thanks a million for watching. Don't forget, hit that like button on the way out. Thanks.